going to look at um, distributive property, is the name of this. And uh, we should have an equal sign here. Essentially, we have some equation on the right side of our, of our uh, function here, or our relationship. And we want to simplify this here. So um, when we're simplifying stuff, we always got to keep in mind essentially bed mass, okay? So B E D M A S. And because of the way this is set up, this is actually really important, our, our brackets. So we actually have two sets of brackets. So the first set of brackets is kind of our parameter. We work with everything within this area, okay? So when we go in this area, we found another set of brackets. So then we have a now even smaller parameter to start with, and we work with everything in that area. So we look inside this bracket, 2x plus 5. Um, these aren't like terms. We have a variable and we have a constant, no variable attached to it. So we, we can't actually put them together. So that's when we start to venture outside of the bracket now. So when we look outside, we have 3, or subtract 3, or negative 3, depending how you see it, multiplied by these brackets. So when you just have a term right outside the bracket, it means multiply. So what we need to do is distribute this, and we're going to think of it as, it's, as if it is negative 3. Negative 3 times both of the terms inside the bracket. So that's going to be just our first step. So I'll bring everything else down. So the 4 stays the same, square brackets the same, the x is the same. And now here we go. Negative 3 times 2x. Well, we multiply this constant by this coefficient. So negative 3 times 2 gives us negative 6. Okay? And we still keep that x. It does not disappear. And then negative 3 times positive 5. A negative times a positive is a negative, and 3 times 5 is 15, so we have negative 15, okay? So now these parameter brackets have disappeared. We don't need them anymore, uh, and we still have that square bracket at the end. So we've already, eliminate one, or we've already eliminated one set of brackets, okay? Next, we again simplify within the brackets. We look within our parameters, see what we can simplify. Um, and I have like terms, x minus 6x. I can actually simplify that. So we're still left with 4. We still have a square bracket x minus 6x is negative 5x. I'll write it in blue so we can see what changed. Negative 5x. And then the 15 or the negative or subtract 15 stays the same. So we still have our square bracket. These are not like terms. There's nothing we can really do with them. So we look outside the brackets again. We have our 4. So we do, once again need to distribute our 4 to both of these terms. So we start with 4 times negative 5x. That will give us negative 20 and the x still stays. And then 4 times negative 15, we're going to have a negative answer. And 4 times 15 is going to be 60. Okay, So I'll keep our equal sign here. But our simplified version, and again, we check to make sure. So essentially, we go inside the bracket, and we check for exponents, division, multiplication, adding, subtracting. Once we've checked those all out, we go back to the bracket again. And work. So we no more brackets, no exponents, no division, no multiplication. There is subtraction, but they're not like terms, so there's nowhere we can go. Mm -hmm. So this is finished. That is the simplified version of that tough-looking question that we started with.